Shalom. This is Mary Omni. This is every public notice. This is August the 20th, 2014. The title of this Republic notice is Blacks Non-Consent to the Anti-Riot Act. Blacks Non-Consent to the Anti-Riot Act. You know what? You want to make up an act. An act does not supreme constitutional amendments, okay? An act is not a body of law. It's an act. Acts can be nullified, pre-nullified, preemptively nullified, changed, or moved around. You cannot move around blacks' constitutional amendments or their non-consent jurisdiction. Yes, it's non-consent jurisdiction because the whole constitutional jurisdiction was changed in 1865. It had to be changed to abolish slavery and protect the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights was under consent jurisdiction to slavery and it was changed in 1865 non-consent jurisdiction to slavery with the abolition of slavery within the constitution that means the bill of rights became non-consented in 1865 and that's when they became god sovereign they became God's sovereign bill of rights amendments in 1865 they were perfected they were perfected with the non consenter Republic blacks who three-fifths could not consent. They inherited constitutionality. So I'm saying this historical piece to let you know blacks non-consent to any anti-riot act. We're sick of this uh, huffy dung breath of these so-called officials and these white lice all over trying to tell us what to do with our constitutional supremacy, okay? Our constitutional authority. Let me tell you what riot is. Let me tell you what riot is when you see blacks rioting. It is the republic interrogation of treasonous. When you see them blacks in Missouri, they are the republic interrogating of treason. Treason is them people who think that it's okay to shoot a constitutional asset. You shoot a constitutional asset, you shooting the Constitution. You're shooting God's sovereignty. You are treasonous. You are treasonous, cut, dried, point blank, and frank. It's no other way to go around. It ain't nothing to deliberate, ain't nothing to question, ain't nothing to equate that cop's right with Mike Brown. Mike Brown is constitutional supremacy. No cop have equal rights with him unless he's a constitutional citizen protecting him. Okay? So this white man in a uniform of, of incorporate doctrines don't make him have equality or supremacy to Mike Brown constitution. Mike Brown is the constitution he shot. And then you want to say it was for some cigars? Okay, so the cigars is more important than the Constitution. See, this is the silliness, the silliness of this incorporate doctrine, white lice parasitic system who think they can keep on in their debt system worldwide against the King David regime and kingdom that's coming in. You better remember this. Blacks helped win the Revolutionary War. Blacks helped win the Civil War. Blacks are the constitutional citizens. Blacks are the constitutional republic. And they was before the U.S. corporation sealed, delivered, and cosmically Fort Knox in the Constitution. And they non-consent to any anti-riot act. You police are the riot. You're the treasonous. You're the treasonous that think you could come on this soil and supreme the Constitution because you put on a blue suit and put on a gun that's been non-consented to you since 1865. Because like I said, the Bill of Rights have been non-consented since 1865. That means they are kin and glued to black Americans. Only black Americans got constitutional Second Amendment rights. The only exception to that is those that are have children with a black woman because the black woman give birth to other children besides the black man in that constitution and they are the ones that's called citizens of several states at this particular time now for more on this report
Look at the description at the bottom of the page, and I will have more information for this report. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. Shalom.